Hey, what's up guys? It's Brian of Pizza Rismo, and I'm gonna go over some of the stuff you need to do to install the power fold mirrors onto your Civic hatch or Civic Type R in this case. So, uh, I'll start here in the beginning. You've got to get your switch into the um, door mount plate. I guess that's what you could call this. Uh, as you can see there, it's just these two Phillips head screws that hold it in place. And if you hold up this one next to the OEM one, then you'll see there's two additional pins on this one. And what that is, is, uh, well, the relay, first of all, the relay for this, for the power fold function is built in. It's this bump out here. And I think it's these two pins here. Let's take a look at the connector. So the connector side, yeah, see where I have uh, this skinny, black and white wire and where they land into this connector. Those are the two that go to the power fold function. And if you can see, back to the switch again, that corresponds to, that's probably a better way to look at it. Um, not the very last one in the bottom row, but the two next to it. Uh, if I recall correctly, those two pins are omitted in the USDM OEM um, switch. So you'll need to find a way to land two pins in there. What I did was uh, bought a door harness from a rack or whatever on eBay, pulled the pins out of the connector and grafted them into my door here. If you've seen my video on how to remove the door panel, then you'll see that you just remove this screw Sorry about the angle there. I'm sorry about the wind noise, if there is any. I'm not sure. But it's hot out, but it's awesome. It's breezy. Remember, if you haven't taken your door panel off, everything just tugs outward. It's not like uh, some of the older cars you may be more familiar with where you have to actually lift up. This, you just pull out. I'm doing this with one hand, so I mean, it's not hard. That's the point of that story. Okay, so inside the door here, you can see what I've done. Uh, here, I have swapped out the OEM connector that would have been on the uh, OEM harness. And I've also removed the harness, uh, the, the, yeah, the harness connector that came with the mirrors. The reason for that was I could, obviously the mirror came with a connector on this side, but I couldn't find the mating connector that would be on this side. And in addition to that, I couldn't find the pins. I guess maybe that's the more important thing. I could have probably gone the route of getting a touring um, door harness, but I was trying to be a little bit cheap. And I mean, I succeeded at being cheap, but I was trying to be a little bit cheap and not go that route just because um, I think the route I went was like eight bucks for all this stuff or 12 bucks, something like that for all the parts, not counting, not counting the tools, of course. And uh, if you go with the touring door harness, I think you're going to be looking at like 70 or something crazy. So anyway, um, yeah, so here we've got the... These are the three OEM wires that would have gone to the OEM four pin connector. And you can see that I, they weren't gonna be long enough to cut off the old end and re-terminate with this new uh, pin arrangement. So I had to lengthen them by whatever that is, about five inches or so. Uh, lengthen that, landed those in this, in this connector here. And this connector, by the way, um, has the same shape here to hold it on into the door. So that's kind of cool. Anyway, so you can see I've got the purple, yellow, and white wire, and they correspond on the other side to... Let's see, the white one goes to that sort of... Uh, I guess it's like white and yellow. And then white and red goes to purple and then yellow goes to uh, yellow and black so again I mean you could do this however you think you want to do it 
you could skip this connector and just you know use uh, these red splice connectors to connect directly from your harness to your wires. I wanted the ability to still be able to unplug this. Looking back, I'm not sure why I wanted that or needed that. I mean, it, it's slightly cleaner just to have this instead of to have instead of having like uh, you know eight or ten or whatever of these in here. But since I had to extend the wires, I don't know. May as well have done that anyway, I guess. Okay, so so that's for the that's just for the mirror movement function. Um, the two wires that I added to this harness, which go to the switch. There, I've got one of those three-way butt-end connectors under this massive tape, and it's down here. Uh, the reason for that is you have a white and a black that need to go to this mirror, and you have a white and a black that need to go into the car and over to that mirror. You can choose whatever color you like. I just happen to use white and black because it worked for me. So that white and black that comes out of this connector, I believe that's 20 gauge. I have that going to 18 gauge just because I didn't have any 20 gauge. And they land here on this connector, which they pair with white goes to white in the mirror, in the uh, EDM mirror, and black goes to uh, black goes to black in the EDM mirror. So that that's pretty nice and, and easy like that. White goes to white and black goes to black. Now the blue and the green, those are for the turn signal function. Those I have running from the taillight area where I have a, uh, uh, what do you call it, a load resistor. So I ran those two wires up to here and well, I can't remember the pin out. You know, you'll have to just connect it and then see which one works. In this case I have green going to pink and then I have blue going to um, purple. If it works, then leave it, and if it doesn't work, then switch it. But the point is, the purple and the pink are the turn signal wire, uh, turn signal wires that will make the side signal blink. So that's it. That's a quick, real quick rundown. I'm not going to go through the process show of showing you how to strip wires and, and crimp and stuff like that. Um, if you're doing this, then you probably have a handle on how you're going to do that. Maybe you're going to solder or maybe you, you know, you have maybe some nicer tools or nicer ways of connecting all this stuff together. This is a little bit rough. As you can see, I got some wires hanging here for, uh, I got the, the lights that go in here and these wires are going to serve that function, but they're just sort of dangling for now. Um, I think I have a dead wire or whatever you want to call it that we, I can use to pull more wires through. I do eventually want to get the blind spot monitoring to work, but for now, um, I'm just kind of happy with what it is. It's been a project. So, all right, that's that for now. Um, hope this video helps somebody. If it did, if you got any other comments or anything else you want to talk about with this video, go ahead and message me. Leave a comment below. Um, you can message me directly. I'm on Instagram and all that stuff. Beat Turismo IG on Instagram. Or you can message me through YouTube. It doesn't matter. It all comes to my phone. Thanks for watching. Have a good afternoon. And always remember, keep right past left.